Hello farmers, I'm going to quickly show you how to get a 100% yield bonus. If this video helps you, please like it. Leave a silly comment for that algorithm and don't subscribe to me. Okay, time to set up that field for a 100% yield bonus. What, the one main thing you need to know actually is that you cannot get a 100% yield bonus unless you are planting over another previous crop because you have to mulch it. Now, you don't have to do everything I'm doing here in the order except for the mulching, okay? We have to mulch first. So let's go ahead and look at our heat map. Sorry, the saving real quick. Uh, we What I like to do is I like to turn them all off. All right, so let's just click deselect all. All right, and then we're gonna go through one at a time. Unfortunately, it's not in order here, so we're just gonna start with mulched. When it is mulched, you're gonna see a little bit of purple. Okay, so we're gonna start with this mulcher right here. Here it is on the purchase menu, sole cultivation, mulcher. You can buy whatever you want, but I like this one. This looks like an airplane, and the other one is like super expensive. It has a good width to it. Let's go ahead and get in the vehicle. We're just going to lower the mulcher with V. Um, when you press lower, it also unfolds it too, which is nice. So, and then you just got to press B to turn her on. And there we go. We are mulching. And if we look at our heat map, we'll see it filling in nicely. All right. So let's go ahead and mulch the whole field. Okay. So everything is all mulched up. As you can see here, it will all be purple. Now we can just go ahead and get rid of that. There we go. All right. So now we probably need to plow. So we can see that it's red needs to be plowed, also needs to be limed, but I like to start with plowing first. Now I'm going to talk about plowing real quick. We're going to be using this thing right here. Okay, I'll show you where it is in the purchase menu. So we got to go down to plows. Now, it's really important, don't buy these things. Don't buy any of these. Buy the subsoiler, which does the same thing as the plow. The thing with these things is they create, they're for creating new fields. That's what I would use them for, okay? So the subsoiler doesn't create new fields, but still plows like anything else, okay? So you want to just go ahead and buy one of these and then go ahead and attach it and plow away. Okay, so I got it connected. We are going to go ahead and unfold it with X. Oh, it's actually, it was already full. It was already unfolded for me. So let's just lower it then. And then we just need to drag it on. Okay. And it's going to reveal stones and it's going so, and it's going to make it look like this, which is okay. Um, so you can see it's going away now. And also it will still stay mulched even though you plow it. So that's okay as well. So let's just go ahead and go through and plow this whole field. Okay, so everything's plowed, but that reveals rocks everywhere. As we can see, there's now rocks everywhere after you plow. Now, let's quickly get rid of the plowing. We now see all the red is gone, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Let's head over to stones. All right, so we can see the stones that need to be picked up. Now, you can push the stones back in if they're yellow, okay? But unfortunately, the, the uh, subsoiler that you use... Um, Oh, I put it over there. The When you use that subsoiler, it reveals a lot of the orange stones or the red stones, which have to be picked up with this thing right here, the stone picker. Okay, let's just quickly look at the uh, soil cultivation section again. There's the stone picker. There's only one version. So go ahead and pick it up. We got to go ahead and pick up all these stones. Okay, so I got the stone picker on me right now. We're just going to lower it. All right, and then we're going to turn it on with B, all right, and then we're just gonna go through again and pick up all these stones. Now, if you look on the right-hand side, you'll see the percentage amount of stones I got. It's at 5% now, and I'm slowly picking up more stones. Okay, and then what if you, uh, you're gonna fill up eventually with stones and you're gonna have to get rid of them. So if we just go through this section here and we look for stones, here's stones right here. We'll be able to see that we can get rid of the stones at the cement factory. So we just click on that, tag it, and then we can look through our map and there's the, where we get rid of the stones just over there. Okay. So let's pick up all these stones now. Okay. So all the rocks are picked up and we can now move on to the next step, which is liming. So we're going to go ahead and click in needs lime. We can see that it does need some lime. So I'll quickly get out of uh, my truck here and I'll show you what I got. I got this thing right here. All right, along with some lime. Sorry, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. 
Okay, so you're going to find this thing in yield improvements under fertilizer spreaders. All right, I got this one right here because it does lime. I don't know of any others that do lime. You really got to look for this icon right here. And then we're just going to head to consumables and you got to buy lime to fill up, fill it up with. And you can just fill it up at... Uh, at the uh, shop once you buy the lime there. You know, always take the lime over to your farm and then fill it up there, but I just usually fill up the shop every time. Okay, so let's get inside. We're gonna unfold the fertilizer spreader with X. Okay. And uh, then we are going to turn it on with B. And this one's a nice easy one. You could see exactly where you're spreading it. So let's just go ahead and move straight a little bit. And then turn it off and let's look at the map. Need lime. You can see now that section doesn't need lime anymore. So let's go ahead and do the whole field. Okay, so I got the whole place limed. You know when it's you don't see any more of that light blue. Now let's talk about fertilization. Now there's two kind of states of fertilizers. The 50%, which is the light, and then the dark blue, which is the full 100%. Now there's multiple ways for you to get to 100%. I'm going to tell you the easiest way, in my opinion, is manure. All right, I'm gonna show you two ways actually. So I got the manure spreader. Let's get out of the vehicle quickly. I'll show you it here. And then let's go into the buy section and I'll show you the fertilizer spreaders. Is that what it was? No, 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 it's not that manure spreader, sorry. All right, any of these is fine. All right, they just, it, the only thing that changes is the width that they uh, spread them. Now what's interesting about manure spreaders, it can give you that 100% fertilization without adding any other fertilizer. All you have to do is activate the double application rate, um, which I think is just comma. If you look under, uh, turn on manure spreader on the left-hand side, you can see activate double application rate. Let's go ahead and press it. Now it says activate normal. All right, so you wanna keep it on that. Let's go ahead and turn on. Oh, we need to unfold it first, unfold with X. All right and then turn it on with B, and then we're just gonna start applying. Now, when you do double, it will take longer. You see how slow I'm moving? Okay, so let's just go ahead and turn it off and turn it back to normal rate, and then turn it on again. And then we move a little bit faster, not a whole lot faster, but let's go ahead and turn it off, and then I'll show you. As you can see, that's the one I did double, that's the one I did single. Now let's grab another fertilizer option, and I'll show you that too. Okay, this is the next thing we're going to look at is this liquid fertilizer sprayer. I'm going to show you where that is. So we're in just normal sprayers. I think it's this one that I bought. Yeah, and it, you'll know it's the right one when it's got this icon here. Okay, now to buy the consumables, you can go ahead and go into here and then you'll see uh, liquid fertilizer right there. Now, apparently it is more expensive than manure. So you can take or leave it, but it is much faster to spread this than it is to spread the manure on the double. But either way, you're going to have to spread manure. So it's really kind of up to you how much you really want to do. So let's go ahead and unfold it. You can change its work width by pressing Control and then Z. And then if you look on the bottom there, that green bar, it's just changing the amount that gets sprayed out. So if I press B right now to turn it on, oh, it hasn't unfolded yet. All right, so I press B to turn it on. See, it's only doing that middle there. So if I spread it out again, there we go. Now it's doing this. And then I spread it out again to its full width. And there we go. Let's press B. Let's move forward. And there we go. Now we're fertilizing. All right. Let's turn it off again. I'll show you the map. And as we can see, it's only going to give you that one state of fertilization. So you could just use this thing first and then do manure afterwards. It's up to you what product you got a lot of. So let's go ahead and get this fertilized. Okay, so we're all fertilized except for a spot here or there that I missed out on. Also, what I thought was kind of interesting is that these are the two spots that I double manured and they have different textures than when I spray a manure, which I, I thought was weird. But that's okay, it doesn't really matter. We get out of our car, we can actually see that if we look on the right hand side uh, field info that it's 100% fertilized. All right, so we're good to go. Um, now we're just going to look through the rolling. Uh, so where is rolling? Right there. So we got to check and see if we need it. Sometimes you don't need it. And right now I don't need it. But sometimes also for rolling that there's certain seeds that you plant that require rolling afterwards. So make sure after you plant your seeds, you come back and check and see if it needs to be rolled or not. Rollers can be found in yield improvements. There it is there. By either one you feel like. It's just the size difference. That's all that's going on in that spot and it's very easy to use. Okay, as you can see, I got a yield bonus of 100%. That's what we're looking for. 
Um, make sure you go back after you plant your crop. I've just planted my crop. Make sure you go back and check and see if it needs rolling, okay? Because there's a lot of crops that need rolling after you plant them. And I just did a little bit of rolling. And as you can see, I got 100%. The ones that aren't rolled is at 97%. Okay, so that's how you prep your field for 100% yield bonus. If this video helped you, please like it. Leave a silly comment for the algorithm and don't subscribe to me.